Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I'm going to be working on my December daily again. And um, this year I'm doing something a little different. I am taking a page out of Sheila Toro's book of junk journaling. And I'm doing my pages first. And then I'm adding them into my journal. So these are the pages that I worked on um, in my first video and I wanted to add a tab on this page and um, I forgot to so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, I had intended to get these videos up early but my daughter, my six year old, got a hold of my phone and I didn't realize it and she brought it in the bathroom and dropped it in the toilet. So I'm without a phone, so I wasn't able to do my videos, but my husband was kind enough to let me use his to at least get um, this one edited because thankfully my SD card was okay. Um, there's no damage done to it, so I was able to um, edit. So I'm waiting on my new phone, so who knows when I'm going to be able to get my December dailies done. Um, it's supposed to be here in a couple of days, so we'll see. But um, I just added that little tab there and then I have this uh, reindeer and I'm going to pin that reindeer onto that tab. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope that you guys are having fun with your December dailies and getting your memories down. So I'm actually working on day two. I'm like super far behind. And um, I think I do day two, three, and four in this video, if I'm not mistaken. And I have this vintage um, magazine here that was um, a Christmas. It was in December, so it was like all Christmas stuff. So I wanted to take a peek through it and see if there was anything I may want to use. Because the 2nd of December, I didn't really have much going on. So I decided to use a prompt. And um, the prompt that I'm using um, was Christmas gift list, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I got the prompt list from um, Roxy Creations on YouTube. And I'll try to leave a link to that below. So I'm just kind of flipping through this magazine. I left this in so you guys could take a peek as well at the images. They're just fun. They're a lot of fun. I love the, obviously the vintage feel of it because it is vintage. So, um, since I'm doing a gift list prompt, um, I went with this Santa Claus one here and it's such a cool image. I just love it. It's so neat. And I love the old sewing machines and um, the fact that he's looking at papers and, you know, reading letters and I just felt like it went really well. And I'm sorry if you can hear my chickens in the background. Um, I don't even know if y'all can hear them or not, but I, they sound very loud to me. Um, so every year we, I have a very large family and, um, every year we draw names because otherwise it would just cost a freaking fortune for everybody to get gifts for everyone in the family. So the, like my siblings and I and my parents and my grandparents, we draw names and then everybody just buys for the little kids in the family. So this year I drew my, um, my sister's girlfriend. I drew her. Um, and so I'm kind of doing my uh, list. I mean, I'm writing, I wrote down what I was planning on getting some of the kids and the, some of the stuff that they asked for, but I'm kind of just really journaling about how we swap, we draw names and then we swap gifts and it's kind of like a secret Santa sort of thing. Nobody knows who got, you know, who and until Christmas. So, um, I had this picture um, it, when I was digging through my photos on my computer, I found that one and I just printed it out. 
So I decided I wanted to go ahead and just make a pocket because I knew I was going to be doing, you know, a lot of journaling. So I just made a pocket and then I punched out that little um, frame piece there, I guess, so I could just slide their photo in. And then um, I just stitched it down. So I've got my little pocket there. And then I'm using these little um, gift tags. And I think I got it from a shop called Past Present Palooza on Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. And you get a bunch of sheets um, of these scanned old gift tags, vintage gift tags. So that's what I'm using to do my days with. And so I was just trying to decide if I wanted to use black ink or red ink. And I went with the black. And so I just stamped the second on there. But I really like how that, um, how that looks. And then I'm just putting a little bit of washi tape because otherwise it kind of looks like it's floating to me. So I think that's the scrapbooker in me that always puts the washi tape down. Um... So I wanted to um, title this, and I, instead of saying Christmas gift list, I just did gift list, because that is what this day is about, or this, yeah, this prompt. And then I just had these old um, alphabet gold stickers in my stash that I had not used. I'm not even sure where they came from. If I was to guess, I would say probably some sort of collection pack somewhere along the line. So then I'm just kind of looking at some, um, some of the stickers that I need to use up. And I just stuck one down on my little scrap of um, vintage ledger. And it says, don't peak till December 25th. So I'm just kind of writing about, you know, our tradition and what we do and, um, and who my husband got and what he was planning on getting. Um, he got my brother, Steven, and you know, what he's going to try to get him and all that. So that was my second day. And then the third day, I did not do much on the third day either. Uh, my husband was in the hospital for a few days, and um, he's doing good, um, no problems. Um, so I'm just kind of going to journal about that. And um, so he was in the hospital on this day, the 3rd. And that's pretty much all I do. Um, that little card there that I uh, glued down that is from that graphic 45 sheet that I showed in my first video I believe and it's just a Christmas um, cut apart sheet and then I just put um, like a transparent quote sticker and it says the heart that loves is always young and then I have this little book um, it's an old book a basic gray um, like an old Christmas journal book or Christmas themed and I've been trying to use the pages out of it so I just did some journaling and I tucked that in there and then um, I had this paper here and the following day on the 4th is when he came home from the hospital and um, he wasn't allowed to drive for like four days and I needed, um, I asked my sister-in-law and my brother if they would get my daughter from school because she needed to be picked up, but I was at the hospital with him. And, um, so they were kind enough to do that. And then my, my husband needed to get his truck from work because he was working whenever he had to go. So... I just grabbed some vintage wrapping paper and glued it on that so that it would make a little pocket. I guess I kind of went a little pocket crazy, but I like it. And then I just 
Um, I just stitched around that and glued that paper down there that I cut up and used. And that is a Stampin' Up! paper. And I love it. It's so pretty. I feel like it goes, it's almost kind of like a folksy Christmas is what it reminds me of. So I really like it a lot. So I wanted to, um, on the 4th, like I said, my brother, he helped us out and my sister-in-law, she went and got the baby and then they went and got their Christmas tree on that day. And, um, there was a little stand right by our house. So they just went up there and my daughter, my oldest daughter, and my youngest daughter went with them to go look. And, um, so my youngest daughter, she, or my oldest daughter, she took a photo of the little, the little ones. So I wanted to include that photo in the day. And then, um, this is just another old photo that I have of my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law. So I'm just kind of putting down some of these photo corners that are on that graphic 45, 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And, um, putting down my little gift tag to do my stamping on for my day, my day four. And, um, I like, I think I, I really like doing it this way. It's fun. I get to pick out, you know, cause there's so many to choose from on those sheets that it's just fun. I like it. And then I wanted to go ahead and add another little tab. Because I, I knew that I wanted to have some like fabric tabs or paper tabs or both poking out um, of my journal. And then this is that Graphic 45 sticker sheet I was telling you about. It would be nice if I could get all those used, but I doubt I'll be able to. So, um, I just put that little Merry Christmas uh, sticker down. And then these are just some puffy stickers. And I'm just plopping them on the page just to kind of make a little cluster there in that corner. And then um, I have this photo and I wanted to, you know, journal about how they were helping us out and just how grateful I was and thankful for my family. And also, Fri that was a Friday night, so Fridays um, we watch... The Mandalorian because it's such a good show. I like all those sci-fi shows. Star Wars and Star Trek and if they're not too, you know, I mean some of them are just a little ridiculous but uh, I like Star Wars so and The Mandalorian is really good. Um, so I pulled out this it's really an antique um, letter. I, I think it was from 1904 or something like that. And it's all typed. And I like the way that it looked. And um, I cut it up so that I could use it as like a little um, book, I guess. A little fold-out book. But I wanted to reinforce the folds. So I just pulled out a napkin. And I'm just gluing that down on the outside. Just to reinforce it and give it a little bit of um, decoration there. And then um, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do on the inside, but I had a I had a little idea. And then I just grabbed this scrap of Christmas paper, and it's you know very kid related. And since the photo was of my daughter and my nieces, um, I felt like it went well. I like it. It's really cute. And then this is another um, border sticker from that 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So I'm just gluing their photo down and um, grabbed another sticker. And I think that one says Merry Christmas as well. But I gotta have my washi. So it doesn't look like it's floating in the air. It's got something to anchor it onto the page. And then that's just like a little um, journaling card from a, just a little, like a 3 by 4 journaling card. And then I'm just stamping down a little TV and watching. And because we watch it every Friday or Saturday, you know, if we don't have time Friday. But 
we basically watch one a week and then um I wanted I thought I had the word currently in a stamp but I couldn't find it so I just grabbed some stickers some little alphabet stickers and I just put down the word currently so it says currently watching and then I stitched across it and I kind of messed up on my stitching I wanted to do a straight stitch but it was zigzag and then I wanted to do a zigzag stitch on the journal card, but it was straight. I don't know what in the world I was doing, but I was just getting it all backwards. So um, I stitched around the photo, and I stitched around the journaling card, and I stitched across the, um, the word currently, the stickers. And then this is just another little journaling card. So... Um, I'm going to write about the Mandalorian and how we watch it every week on that card there. So when you first open it up, there's the journaling about the Mandalorian. And then I'll journal about, finish my journaling about my um, what happened that day on that card that you're looking at. It's to the left of the, of the girls. And then I just stuck some little Tim Holtz um, tiny word stickers on there. And I think it said family and smile. And then I'm just putting this other home sweet home sticker down because, um, you know, it's the day my husband got home from the hospital. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch all the way around this. Just to kind of give it a more finished look. And because I like the way stitching looks on my stuff. So, even though it's not perfect, it's always messy, but that's okay. I like messy stitching. Um, and then I have this back piece, and I just put a train on there. And um, I did that because, you know, travel, train. And we traveled home from the hospital. Even though it wasn't on a train, it was in the car, but still, I liked it, so it worked. And, um, so I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to start my journaling. And I decided to go ahead and start it on this page. So I'm just doing some lines on this. Um, linen here that that's a printable linen and that was from little bendy if I'm not mistaken on Etsy and so here I'm showing you I did all my journaling and that pretty much wraps it up I hope you all enjoyed this I hope you'll have a blessed day and um, hopefully I'll get my phone soon and then I've got some major catch-up to do on this December daily so I will talk at y'all later thank you so much for watching bye